Hello everyone. Some time ago I built this hopper. Um, cement of course. Uh, hopper. Um, in cardboard. Just plain cardboard. A few bogies and couplings from the Chinese reseller and some added weight. I was not too satisfied with it. It's okay, but um, the cardboard is visible everywhere. These are much too thick. Um, and the paintwork went too well because the cardboard uh, yeah, isn't that good of a surface to paint to. So I went looking for another possibility and I came to this solution. It is styrene, one millimeter, and um, you can cut it much easier and it won't crack that easy as cardboard so it would be possible to make much thinner uh, supports for the hopper for instance. The problem is it's very shiny, difficult to paint to and um, the first step I decided to do was to sand it down uh, using a fine sanding paper. Uh, before starting to cut it uh, I have sanded down the whole board. Um, much easier to work on it, it um, is easier to paint, um, so the shiny uh, surface has gone. And then I started to build uh, something like this. The raw, the raw shape, uh, <laughs> lots of things to do to it still. But don't worry, this is uh, one I have in stock for a new project. The finished result is this one. Um, so as you can see the cyan board gives the possibility to make much more detailed shapes. It doesn't break that easy. For instance on the roof here I have these uh, structures. Um, it is of course hand work, it's not perfectly straight, everything looks like an old weathered <laughs> hopper. Um, but it's uh, easy to paint, you can make lots of details. And um, the boogies are this type of boogies from a Lima donor wagon together with this mechanism. Um, it's easy to fit and uh, I use it for all kinds of projects. Um, I have changed the wheel sets though for uh, wheel sets from that Chinese reseller. They are um, very nice and metal DC wheel sets. So um, I have decalled it, I have finished it painting it. The only thing I have to do still is put a protective varnish on it. Um, but I usually let it dry for a few days before I put the varnish. So let's try on the layout how it will look and how it will run. Okay, the locomotive at service today is the Pico CHMA3, um, a shunter and diesel freight locomotive, usually freight, sometimes passengers, um, from the Soviet Union era, but uh, made in Czechoslovakia. Um, um, but it was widely used in the Soviet Union, um, and it will today uh, pick up the hopper Let's see if it runs.
so that's my new hopper, uh, handmade, fully handmade. It is not of the same quality as these uh, very high quality 3D printed hoppers that cost at least 80 euros. But hey, this one, I was um, busy for a lot of hours, but this one costed me around 10 max 15 euros. So um, I think it's okay. I'm not sure what you think. You can let me know in the comments. I still have material for one more. So if you have advice on building that second one, uh, please let me know in the comments. I hope you liked the video. Please, if you like, thumbs up. Um, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.